sir. Coming to you live from the world food competition. Yeah, man. So here with my boy Jay El Toto right now. The the chefery in the house, do you know? See, official, officially. Let's see the official logo up front, you know? The official, the official, logo. The official World Food Competition Chefery, man. This this guy does everything. If you didn't know it, Jonas does everything, everywhere. man. Everywhere, all, all the time, man. man. So, Jay, so tell us, tell us about this food competition, man. What, what, are we, what, what are we doing here today, man? What's going on? What's taking place? So we got some of the best chefs in the world are competing in our kitchens here that we set up. There's 30, 30, yeah, 30 kitchen, yep. 30 kitchen stations set up. That's a lot. Some of the best chefs in the world from everywhere from France, from Japan, all over the United States. So this is not just a Texas thing. It's not just a Texas Dallas thing. Dallas thing. All over the world. This is this is the premier food competition. All the stuff you see on TV is great. This is the one where the money's at. Wow. This year, $300,000 is top prize. 300000 I need to learn how to make some eggs. Some special something, bro. Some, some special sandwiches. bacon, dog. Yeah. Like, that's crazy, yeah. man. And so sandwiches? I go hard, bro. Right? You know. So I'm about to, so I'm taking off my, taking off my chef shirt right now. Putting yeah. on my judge's hat. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to be judging the sandwich competition. Nice. Which is a whole set of rules. If you know anything about barbecue and steak competition, yeah. same, same concept. Yeah. They have a whole set of rules and criteria that you judge by. So what type of rules take place in a sandwich competition? I mean, it's, it's bread. It can't be a hot dog, I'm sure. You know? So so the, the, the acronym they use is EAT. Okay. But it's judged in reverse. Okay. The most important thing, if it's food, taste. It's got to taste good. Yep. It's got to be good. Not only that, but you got to be able to taste all the elements of the recipe. So if it's got, if it's supposed to have some spice in there, yep. it's got to have spice. If it's supposed to have some kind of mustard in there, you got to be able to taste the mustard. You want to taste that stuff. Yeah. So right? do they do they, do they pass the ingredients on to the competitors before? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So, so they have they, certain... Yeah, so they have they have like a so the last thing we did was uh, rice and noodles sandwich. No, oh, I was about to say what? No, no they could do they could do anything they wanted to as long as they included rice and noodles. Okay, gotcha. But they had a specific spice. Yeah, uh, I'll even go ahead and plug Bang Bang Spice. Yeah, sweet and spicy. Bang Bang. Bang Bang is fine. Yeah, you got to check out some Bang Bang. I love Bang. Anything got to do with Bang know. Bang. I'm good. Good luck finding it. Yeah. Because we have not been able to find it in stores around here. But, uh, <laughs> but bang, bang, look for it. It's awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so they'll have a specific item that they have to incorporate. Yep. Kind of, kind of like on the food shows you see on, on Food Network. For so, sure. So on the next on the next round, they have to include bison. Uh -huh. So they got a, they got a bison ribeye. Yeah. They have to cook that bison ribeye and figure out some way to incorporate that into a sandwich. Oh, wow. That sounds incredible. I See, you know. Incredible. My first, one of my first jobs in college was at McAllister's, bro. So yeah. I can make a mean ass sandwich. So yeah. spread that, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. That all right, nice and smooth, not too thick, yeah. you know. But tell me this: uh, Is anybody cooking ox? Because we're still trying to figure out where the hell oxtails come from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that so far this year. But last year we did have somebody do an oxtail. Yeah. Oxtail soup. Yeah. So was it? Did you question them? Where did you find the ox? Where did you find the ox? We haven't seen an ox since Paul Bunyan, bro. Like, where was the ox, bro? I don't know. I think they brought their ox with them. They and killed them. it on the spot. They like, ox. yeah, awesome. Well, you, you say that, but we have, we have. So we were out here setting up yesterday. Yeah. For all day long, and they brought. We have whole pigs out there. Solid, frozen solid. So, or yesterday. I, yeah, I, when I was walking in, I saw some pigs with a stick on them and just rolling on the uh, freaking yeah. cooker. Yep. So they, 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 had to, they had to come out early this morning. Yeah. Hopefully, they were thawed out enough and cut those pigs down to, you know, to griller size. Wow. And, uh, that's some real. That's yeah. some fresh bacon, dog. Like you don't get no more fresh yeah. than that. So we've been we've been all over the place with food. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Crazy stuff. So, like, when people are like, "Man, what took so long? Do you have to kill the pig?" Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Honestly, just we did. About. Just about. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, man. bro. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we can tell this because it's known. So, we got caviar. Oh, nice. A little bit later, one of the one of the uh, one of the required ingredients is going to be caviar. Oh, do you like caviar? 
Um, I haven't had this caviar. Okay. Some of it's pretty good. Yeah. Some of it can, it can, it can be pretty good. Some of it's a little a little rangy for me, but man, it all tastes. I just the the you know I'm a texture eater. Yeah. And the whole popping in my mouth yeah. thing. You know it's cool. It's cool to say I'm eating caviar and I'm yeah. eating caviar right now. What, what, Got a little caviar on my, on my, on my salmon, or whatever it might be, you know? Or cracker, cracker, whatever it was. I don't know how you eat it. You know, I just had it a few times, bro. Like, the texture was wild. Yeah. Kind of remind me of like soft pop rocks. But you, you eat sushi? Yes. They put it on sushi. Okay, is that what the little black things are? No, that's what the little, they'll have orange and red, green. Okay, okay. Look like, look like Christmas up in there. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need I need some of that caviar because yeah, caviar had I had this was morning. Yeah. It's, nice. It's crazy. The, the, the quality of the food, the kinds of food, the different stuff that they do. Yeah. And this is not just, this is not just a bunch of people sitting in the kitchen, you know, stirring a pot. Like they have to, they have to put this stuff on a plate because out of that EAT, you remember I said EAT a while ago. Yep. Yep. So the A is for appearance. Okay. It's got to look good. Yep. Not just, not just look edible, but look pretty. Yeah. That presentation. And some is of these everything. things are off the chain. It's yeah. Not like we got stuff that's like stacked up, and we got stuff where they like made sugar lace things. I don't even know. Wow. How to, I don't even know how to describe what like that the, is. Like the TV see. Big Mac versus oh, the one that man. you actually get. Yeah. Yeah. They look fine. And <laughs> so it's got to look good. Yeah. And then and then the, the last letter E, yep. just in reverse, E-A-T, is execution. Okay. So execution is about, is everything mixed up properly? Did it get cooked all the way? Got you. Did, Got you. you. Know, is, it, is it edible? Yeah. So, so another, eat. You know. That's yeah. the, they could also do tea, but I guess it's, yeah. it's food. <laughs> right. They didn't want to do a liquid. Right. But right. it's a leaf, right? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. So we got, I mean, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's, it's really amazing to see all the different things that they do. Yeah. And how much effort they put into these things. And then on top of that, maybe Jay will show you some of this later, but they're going to have to pick that tray up yep. with a big presentation plate on it. Five little, five little taster plates. Yep. All that decoration and walk, and then they gotta walk it like a hundred yards Jeez. to the turning table. So these cats are out here. You know, they're probably in the gym at some they're, point. They're, some of these dudes are sweat. Yeah, yeah. They gotta get in the gym to make sure they can pick that plate yeah. up and keep it stable and don't drop that bad boy. You know, that's hey man, the life of a cook, man. You never know. I never knew this about a chef. You know what I'm saying? But these chefs, dudes. chefs and cooks are some of the best people. Some of the craziest people, but they're some of the best people in the world. Yeah, I believe very. You gotta have a great imagination to, to be you able to have imagination, a steady hand. You know, steady hand. <laughs> you gotta like like anybody who claims that they're a chef and they ain't got scars on their fingers. They're lying. They're lying. Yeah, they they just bought that. They, they got that to go. This shit ain't true. Because <laughs> they, they, these dudes, these people are getting burnt, and cut, yeah. sliced. And, That's crazy, yeah. bro. That's dope, man. Well, we're about to go check this thing out, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab some of these uh, different items that I'm seeing around here it smells amazing in here but if y'all don't know about it y'all come down to Fair Park at the World Food Competition it's going on until Sunday right or Saturday it's going on to Sunday final, so Sunday? final finals or Sunday final finals or Sunday man but hey it's gonna be good eating good eating all week come learn about something man come pick up some of these awesome things that these vendors are serving out here man and uh yeah stay tuned man oh, yeah and there's bourbon queue yeah and they so got there's alcohol bourbon, too. bourbon and barbecue outside yeah, oh wow check that out yeah there's alcohol out here too man so hey Y'all come out here, man, down here in downtown Dallas at, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Fair Park. The barbecue part. Yeah, man, it's barbecue. As soon as you, you can't help but to know it's barbecue out here. When you <laughs> walk no in, doubt. it's, it's I don't know. No hey, I went by a food truck called, uh, is it Itis or You Got Itis, I believe it's called. <laughs> you Got Itis. And if you know anything about Itis, man, I'm going to stay away from that food truck straight up. But uh, but right on, man. We'll see y'all soon. Stay tuned. We're going to take some uh, cool videos. Have a few conversations. Appreciate it, Jay. What's up? Hey. Go get them, bro. Go get them. We're we'll we here at the World Food Competition. This is my first chef interview. I'm so excited. <laughs> How you doing? And what's your name? Fletch. Fletch? Yep. And where you from, Fletch? Alabama. Alabama, huh? Orange Beach, right was, on the beach. Oh, my gosh. I was in Orange Beach when that hurricane hit, like, two, three years ago. Yeah. I think two years ago. The trees were going sideways yep. out there. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, let me get the hang up out of here. Uh, yeah, you have a party. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good time, though. I had a really good time out there. So, uh, is this your first World Food Competition? Uh, it's my fourth. Your fourth? Mm -hmm. 
Nice. How have you fared so far? Um, last year I did 12. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, you keep coming back, so you must have a good time when you come out oh, here. Oh, it's awesome. It's so much fun. You yeah? The same people, a lot of the same people every year. Nice. And, nice. So it's kind of like a... Yeah, it's like a food sport family. Yeah, I that's mean, very cool. Everybody helps each other out, and it's awesome. Like my, uh, my zester yep. wasn't working. It was dull, and the guy next to me offered me his. So, oh, I mean, nice. we help cool. each other. And, so, yeah. yeah, it's no like backstabbing going right. on. Like people like taking your bang bang away. When exactly. You're not looking. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. So, what, what type of pasta did you make this morning, right? Uh, yeah, we did two pastas. I did a turmeric, which made it the yellow color, and then I did a butterfly pea flour, uh -huh. which is kind of like a tea that you make tea with, and it's blue. Yep. And then I put them together, so one side was blue and one side was yellow. Very cool. And then made fettuccine with it, and then we did um, a purple foam on top yep. because the blue butterfly pea flour. When it hits acid, it goes from blue to purple. Nice, nice. So that was really cool. So how'd you start cooking? Like, what interested you about becoming a chef? Like, where'd that passion come from? I don't know. It's just, I can't stop. Yeah? It's just in you i guess so you've been doing this for years oh, and like yeah. this is just what you love to do love it that is awesome man. that is awesome so spent from alabama are you a crimson tide fan like i'm a tennessee balls fan what <laughs> so you're pretty excited about that huh yes finally a good year so how'd that work out did you grow up in tennessee yeah I'm okay cool game. cool well i I watched that whole game and it was an amazing game. Yes. Holy cow, he broke the field goal down at the end. I, was I like, know, it was crazy. It's very cool, very cool. But no, I just wanted to come and speak to you and you know, we're all hanging out around here, so I figured I'd give you a quick shout out. And, I appreciate you know, it. Yeah, we've got a pretty cool, pretty cool audience. So uh, when you're in Tennessee or Alabama, uh, what restaurant are you working at? Are you have your own restaurant? Or? Uh, at the Island House Hotel and okay. it's on the beach in Orange Beach. Nice. Island House Hotel on the beach in Orange Beach. That's it. That's it. It's always here with uh, Will Ryan. Hit the World Food Competition. Man, I don't know if y'all can hear me because that speaker is loud. Anyway, bro. Yeah. You know, outside of being uh, the num number one draft pick in the NBA. Now, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? I, I was hitting all my baskets. Today. Yeah. So. Um, I'll tell you what, I had a really good time cooking. Yeah. Um, I had a blast. Everything came together right at the end. Our timing was on point. Um, our execution of the dishes and the etouffee came out perfect. Uh, some of the things, you know, I can always look back on it afterwards and say, oh, I should have done that different, should have done that different. But honestly, more went right than I could have ever imagined. I mean, it's like so much went right that it's hard to really. I just want to be positive about and, it. And, yeah, I'm really, I was, I had a blast. I wish I could do it again. Man, can and you I'm, explain and can you describe the dish you made? Yeah, you know, my mouth is watering. Yeah, bro. man, we uh, we made a uh, a dirty rice basically. We started out, we started out with the rice. Uh, we got some sage sausage. Uh, we kind of cooked that in to the rice with um, a uh, bell peppers, onion, the Trinity basically. Yep. Made an etch, made a root and. Uh, we kind of diced that up into an etouffee. Yeah. Um, then we got some shrimp and we sauteed them in the garlic butter. Um, pretty much all these ingredients we made separately. Then we built it. Um, they, they started out with the, uh, oh, I also made uh, bell pepper noodles. Yeah, made the bell peppers, flattened them out. Uh, just did long cuts, made nice long spaghetti noodles. Blanched them until they were nice and soft and the texture was similar to that of a pasta. Yeah. So I was trying to like imitate a pasta with the bell pepper. Holy cow. Um, then uh, we basically made a bed of it, uh, put the portobello mushroom cap on top, and uh, filled that with shrimp uh, and the, um, the etouffee. My and then we garnished it with uh, a little more etouffee uh, around the edge, and uh, we zested up some lemons, and um, just garnished with some different peppers we found in the market here in Dallas. Yeah, There's man, a market so here in Dallas, it is awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If, I ever had, if I ever had to move here, that's the That'd be the one selling point. You know, nice. yeah. I had a blast in there. I was yeah. in there for three hours last night. <laughs> just grabbing awesome, peppers bro. and ingredients. That's I had a blast. Awesome. I that love Dallas. Awesome. I'm having a great time. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. So is this your first competition? Yep. Yeah. So you're a rookie, man. Yeah. Man, well, you yeah. put a hell of a dish together, this is your bro. rookie card right here. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Get my rookie card. That's yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Yeah. So when, when people, if I go to North Carolina or South yeah, Carolina? North Carolina. Oh, I'm from South Carolina, but okay. I live in North Carolina. Basically, I'm a Carolina boy. But uh, So if I'm in North Carolina, yeah. where am I coming to, to taste this, man? Oh gosh, man! Like, do you, um, where, where, where actually, can we find you? I would where have to pass that over here because this I, guy, I'm from this is, 
Yeah. Yeah. North, yeah. North Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right on. Like right. Jacksonville area? Or? Beach. Okay. Oh, All right. Right. Down in Fernandina Beach. Nice, nice. And what's your name? Cat, uh, Wes Watson, Cowboy Q. Wes Watson, Q. Cowboy Q. Yeah. So that, that's where we can find some of these good dishes. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, I do anything from whole hog stuffed gator. Whole oh, stuff, my God. Whole stuffed gator. Stuffed gator. Yeah. You, yeah. Did you bring some of that with you? No, didn't bring none. Yeah. I was cooking in the rice this year. I'm no. usually outside in the, on the steaks. Yeah. Gotcha. This is my first year in the kitchen area. Nice. So, so it, uh, this, um, obviously, this is not your first one food competition. None. Right. So, steak. Okay. So, when, how many have you attended? Two. I've qualified the last five years. Oh, nice. Nice. I've only 2018 yep. and, and this year. Very cool, man. I Very had cool. time to come. <laughs> so, what do you love about this whole competition? Uh, like why, why come back? You know what I mean? What is it that brings you back out here? The experience, the the atmosphere, and the connections you make here. Yeah. You meet people from all over the world here. That's awesome, yeah. man. And all over the different products. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see a little bit of everything. Everybody's different techniques. Yeah. Whole nine yards. It's, so, it's excellent. So this is like the Super Bowl of the food, Super Bowl right? of food. Man, yeah. that's crazy, bro. Well, I'm yeah. very happy to meet you, gentlemen, man. That nice dish, man, you. I'm going to be yeah. thinking about the dish you described yeah. with the belt pepper. Yeah. Ho hopefully we make it to the next round and yeah. we'll be doing some uh, ground veal. Nice. Uh, on nice. Saturday morning. I got to figure out how to be a judge and, and get the camera yeah, out of my yeah. hand, get come a on. fork, get a fork on. in my we're, hand. We're also a, a big screen tribal fire team. Yeah. You need to come out to our, our tent out there. Okay. And we'll be doing demos on our tribal fire grills yeah, out there. Oh, very cool, bro. Very it's cool. It's a griddle, grill combination. That's yeah. what I use in all the SEA competitions and nice. some of my barbecue. Nice, man. Oh, Y'all just making me hungry, bro. I just got here. I ain't even tasted anything, but I'm about to walk around and drive. We got some, we got some great stuff out there. Hey. I'm going to be here yeah. and make sure I come see y'all. Yeah. Well, we got some leftover crawfish etouffee from today's competition. Yeah. We're going to make it. Like and some dirty rice. See, that's, gonna, that's like my yeah. favorite. One of my favorite dishes We're going to we we yeah. make some fajitas yeah. tomorrow with that dirty rice oh left over. Yeah, right yeah, on, bro. Got, yeah. Right on. Hey, y'all come check out come Wes on. at the Cowboy Q. Yeah. And what's your name? Will. Will, Will man. You can look me up at Cowboy BBQ on Instagram. Right on. Cowboy BBQ on Instagram. Cowboy BBQ on Instagram, man. Uh, a schnitzel coleslaw sandwich, yep. so a little Austrian uh, uh, influenced nice. dish. Um, it's going to be a pretty traditional, you know, sandwich, but uh, uh, it's going to be served on a pretzel bun, so getting a little of that sweetness and yeah. a little saltiness. Yeah. Uh, Where are you guys from? Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh man. Sorry, Vancouver, BC, Canada. Yeah, that's. No I love Vancouver, Canada, man. Love it, bro. When I, first, uh, first world food. So not first, uh, like we do barbecue competitions on the okay. side, but uh, cool. first world food. Yeah. You feel nervous or what? Oh, you feel right at home? Yeah, you can see it a little. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> big gamers, game time, baby. Yeah, gamers yeah. come to play, baby. Right on. Good luck. So it's not your first food competition, right? No. This is my ninth year. Ninth year. Ninth year. How have you fared so far? So uh, I've been in the top ten four different times. Oh, very cool. Second in bacon. Uh -huh. Second in um, in no. Second in burger. Second in bacon. And fourth last year in sandwich. Wow. So I bet you made a hell of a bacon burger. Yes, sir. Hey man, those are like two of the cornerstones in the bacon burger. jam. Yeah. Like a wheel of bacon jam on top of our burger. We make a badass burger. Very cool. But today, man. We're, today we're going really old school. Yeah. We're bringing it to an old school, down to earth level. Yep. We're doing a beautiful bison ribeye sliced grilled with a bison and bacon gravy. Man, that bison. On a homemade biscuit. Now, how often do you, are you cooking with bison on the regular? Never. Really? So, first but, time. but I, no, not the first time, but okay. I'm on a regular. Yeah. I mean, once and twice a couple of times in my nice, life. Nice. With buffalo, you know, no problem. But we bought some. Yeah. We bought a whole a whole sample pack. We bought an extra sample pack so we could play with it. Very and cool. We've done a lot of creative things with it. But yeah. we come back to this beautiful feature the bison. Nice. That's our whole goal is feature the bison. Yeah. And that's the whole goal today is feature yeah, the bison. Yeah, man. So where are you from? Where are you guys from? We're from Gloucester, Massachusetts. Oh, nice. So we nice. up in, uh, in fish North territory. Baby. You know? Yeah, that's bro. It. So I'm really from New Jersey, but we moved to... I moved to Gloucester three, three and a half years ago. Very cool. We just opened up a barbecue place in June. Yeah. We have a, a weekend barbecue place and a full-time bakery. Are there so very many barbecue meat, spots we, around there? There are none. I was about to say, man, that's a southern thing right so there. So I guess I'm the best in town, but yeah. that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm as good as it gets. That's yeah. all I can tell you. That's awesome, cooking bro. barbecue for 22 years all over this country. So Very cool, it's a, man. It's good stuff. Well, welcome back. Nice Thank year. You. you know, good luck to you, man. Yeah, man. Hey, well, and feature the bison, bro. We'll, we'll, we'll be up there. Right on. Right on. Pleasure meeting you.
Where you guys from? Bedford, Texas. Oh, awesome home sandwich. Home team, baby. Home Hometown. Team. Is it is this your first uh, World Food Championship? This is the first World yeah. Food. Nice, nice. Were you a little nervous or what? How you feel no, about it? No, this is what we do every yeah. day. Every hey, you day sound, sound like a gamer to me, bro. Yeah, we make the best sandwiches in DFW. Nice. World now. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And so, we came to get down, man. That's what we do. So the Colossal, you said it's in Bedford, Texas? Bedford, Texas. Okay. Right off Airport Freeway. Right off 183, huh? Yes, sir. What, uh, what exit? Uh, Bedford Road. Okay. Bedford right on. Bedford Road. We're in the same plaza as Albertson. I got to come by and check you out sometime, Please, bro. Man. Absolutely, man. Enormous sandwiches and yeah, gourmet. Yeah, I, I love the, uh, the, the chef shirts. Got the numbers on the back, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, that's the Colossal Lake. That's our, that's our original... Uh, business plan with eight sandwiches. Nice, nice. That's very cool, bro. Hey, well, good luck to you, man. Thank you, sir. Hey, is this your first time cooking with bison, or have you done this before? Uh, no, I've worked with bison. Oh, love I've it, man. Both of us have been chefs for over 35 years. Oh, cool. Very cool, man. Well, good luck this to you, bro. Right on. Hey, having fun in it, man. Enjoy. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, where, where you from, Hatchie? Um, we're just south of Dallas. We're from Oshkosh High School. Oh, we're nice. In the culinary program. Very cool. Yeah. So you're still in high school right now. Yes, I'm. Mean, we're. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Seniors. Oh man, yeah. so I live in Milwaukee. Oh, so. that's so cool. Man, I'm in Waukesha all the time, man. Yeah. I'm very excited for y'all. This is very cool. Yeah. Thank so you. So they let y'all off the campus yeah. today to, to come get after it a little bit. Yes. Yeah, yes. man. So you're nervous or what? How you feel about it? Um, I was nervous, but now I'm just really excited to. Yeah. How we do. Yep. So, have y'all had a, a chance to, to cook with bison before? Um, yes, we have. We Very cool. This, this past week, oh, nice. Uh, the week before that. So, you did have a little prep and understanding what you would be cooking with before yes. you came in. Yes. Cool. So, y'all got the dish down. You know what's going on. Yes. We do. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time. I let you get back to it. I know you're getting after it right now. So, yes. good luck to you, Hatchet. Thank you. All right. You're not. You're McKenzie, right? Are you McKenzie? You McKenzie? Hi. Hey, McKenzie. I'm over here all backwards. I'm like, Hatchie, that's a heck of a name. Sounds like Watson Hatchie, but y'all are actually Watson Hatchie High Culinary. Man, see, this is this is why, I, um, yeah, and that's why I'm behind the camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, that's very cool. So, you excited? I very much so. Is this um, your first time doing this? It is. Yeah. I have uh, been able to see a couple of TV shows. But nice. This is definitely a different environment. Yeah. I love the people. I love talking to chef with everyone. Yeah. And doing my best friend. It's very cool. Incredible. Very cool. How'd y'all take up cooking? Is it just um, like... I've been cooking since I was little. Nice. I was three or four years old. My parents were in the kitchen. Yeah. So it's always been a passion of mine. Yep. I dragged her along with me. <laughs> y'all y'all got a few fans out here rooting you on today? I have yes. my parents, my grandparents. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, y'all got to be so proud, right? Always. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. That is so awesome. Well, good luck to y'all. I'll get out of your hair. So I'm rooting for the home team. Let's go. Bring it home, y'all. Here before? Is it your yeah, first? This is our ninth year. Ninth year. Have you fared so far? Uh, we made seventh place one year, and then we're two-time reserve grand champion. Very cool. Wow. So, yeah. That's very cool. So hopefully we'll take it this year. We're trying to try. Yeah. We're going to try. This is awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. That's so, I mean, you keep coming back. Is it? Do you like the competitive nature of it all, or what? And we meet so many people. Yeah. We meet so many friends. I mean, it's just. So it's, so it's a, a community out here. It is. That's very cool. It really is. And it's nice to be welcome. Yeah, yeah. Is this your favorite, you know, sandwich? Is this your favorite part of the competition? Yes. Okay. I've done, I've done seafood once and then the rest were sandwich. Nice. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you won that championship? Last year. Oh, wow. So you're yeah. reigning right now. Yeah. We uh, came in second to AC. Ooh. That one up there. Okay. I'm, I'm coming for them. Go get them then. <laughs> Go get them, you know. Good luck to you. Absolutely. Is this your family? Like my, my 15-year-old son and my 16 year old Okay, son. I can see the resemblance, you know. Hey, make it a family affair, you know. I bet y'all have some good eating around the house. It's smelling good around there all the time. But good deal. Thank you very much and good luck. Yeah. So, okay, can, and what's your name again? I'm Al Samuelson. I'm with North American Bison out of New Rockford, North Dakota. Excellent, excellent. We're, we're a bison processing plant, so we're owned by about 50 family ranchers. Uh-huh. And then we do the processing. We make them into steaks and burgers. Yeah. And then we uh, and then we sell everything into. We sell here in Texas. Yep. Right. Yep. So we sell HEB carries our oh, bison nice. product. Oh, nice. Nice. Wild Fork Foods is a retailer out of Florida. There's a couple, four or five stores here. They carry our okay. steaks and burgers. 
We sell into restaurants. There's only around six or seven hundred thousand bison in the country. Yeah. So, but it's very low. It's a very brightly red meat. It's very high in iron. Yep. Uh, they can run 30 miles an hour for half an hour. They Holy can cow. jump over a six foot fence. Yeah. So super lean. But, but not tough and massive amounts of flavor. Yeah. If I gave you a bison burger, or when you have one of the burgers or the steaks, if you didn't know it was bison, you would think it was just an amazing burger and amazing steak. That is it's wild. It's not gamey. Yeah. It's not tough. Uh, but it's lower in, uh, and I eat a lot of chicken, nothing against chicken, but yeah. it's lower in fat, calories, and cholesterol than a piece of salmon or a boneless, skinless chicken. Holy rice. cow. That's and nuts. the animals are actually good for the environment because they yeah. dig up the soil and so they eat the natural grasses. Can you, can you hunt bison? Is that even legal? You can. Okay. But most of uh, bison, as I understand it, is ecologically extinct. Gotcha. Which means there's not enough bison in the wild yep. to continue to propagate. So gotcha. the majority of bison is this is a case where commercialism has actually helped save a species. Yeah. Because in the late eighteen hundreds there were around six to eight hundred animals in the whole from the millions and millions yeah. in all of North America in I think six or seven different genetically distinct herds. Yeah. And so most of them now are on private ranchers mm -hmm. where they raise them or Indian reservations. Oh, wow. Ranchers. That's pretty so, incredible. They, the breeding the breeding is they're constantly moving the breeding animals around the country to yeah. maintain diversity in the genetic, in the gene pool. Yeah. To continue to have a healthy animal. That is, uh, I just learned something new about the bison yeah. today, man. That's very cool. No, very it's, cool. it's an amazing animal. It's an amazing product. Yeah. So we're proud to be here. How often do you come to the World Food Competition? This is actually my first year. Really? I'd never even heard of it. Yeah. I got invited down. Bison is sponsoring one of the, the North American Bison Association is sponsoring the bison sandwich category. Yeah. So they're doing everything but burger. There's people doing tri-tips and brisket and ribeyes. Nice, nice. And then if you come down to the state fair ground, if this goes out today, tomorrow there's some people who are gonna be cooking bison brisket. Or, Blackstone's going to do some uh, skirt steak breakfast burritos. I got some locally made tortillas. Yeah. Pico de gallo. So did you expect the environment that you Absolutely showed up not. to? Blown really? Blown away. That's awesome, man. Blown away. That and is I've awesome. Been, I've been telling people in my company, we have to be involved in this going forward. Yeah. It's the full on Iron Chef. Yeah, kind of man. They say this is the granddaddy chef. of them all right here, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, when I first walked in yesterday and saw all this stuff lined up, I'm like, yeah, this is the real deal. Yeah. yeah. They, they love this location because... They want to be here for several years because of the different buildings. They can continue to expand as it grows. Yeah, infrastructure is ready and found and ready for it. Exactly. Yeah, what, what's your name, sir? Austin Puckett. I'm here with Benjamin Lee Bison. Austin Puckett from Benjamin Lee Bison. And hey, I'm Jim Matheson. I'm the executive director of the National Bison Association. Nice, nice. So, wow. Like, how'd y'all get in the bison space first and foremost? Right? And we'll start with you first. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, that's a, a long story cut very short is we had looked at getting into grass fed beef years ago. Yep. And uh, bison seemed to be more natural, better for the environment, easier to raise. You don't have as many health problems. You don't have to worry about antibiotics as much. You don't have calving problems. You yeah. Predator problems. And uh, looking to do something less involved than like, and better than any sort of industrial farming like factory farming or feedlotting you don't do yeah. that with bison or we don't so you have a bison so, ranch y'all have quite a so few we've got here. about 2500 acres in western oklahoma yep and we've got right now about 800 heads a little over 800 wow heads. that's significant and, that's significant uh, man yep we everything we slaughter is raised born in our ranch yeah um and we just try to raise meat that uh we'd be proud to feed our families yep uh, and just try to give people an option to escape factory farming. Yeah. Uh, if that's something you're interested in. And I didn't realize all the nutritional value that you mentioned a second yeah. ago that comes with the bison. I didn't know it was better for you than chicken. You know? Oh, yeah. Let, that's well, like that. insane yeah. to me, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm like white meat, chicken, yeah. fish. Yeah. But bison needs to be somewhere slotted in that in that category. For you know what I mean? For grass-fed beef, it's, it's either half the fat or twice the protein yeah. for serving however you want to however you want to deal it up Very we have some bodybuilders in oklahoma that buy ground uh they think it's one of it's it's a almost as cheap as some of their protein powder wow gram for gram that's crazy bro yeah. that's crazy Which man is, i'd never even considered to tell a couple of guys come up and like 
Dude, we're the heavyweights of this thing. Hey, yeah. you can you can start a whole new go to a football team, yeah. bro. We've start a whole new market, man. People that buy it just for that, just for the protein. Market. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome, bro. That is awesome. And and Jim, right? So yeah. how how'd you get involved with the whole bison? Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty significant role you have there, right? It is. Yeah. So I uh, came on as executive director about six months ago, but I've been with the National Bison Association for about 18 years now. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. And I got a background in mostly organic production as well as outreach and education, work with nonprofits. Cool. And all kind of came together with bison here. So mm, we very cool. Much fit into that natural foods channel, so very similar to the organic uh, scene as well. Cool. And yeah, uh, just love working with bison producers. We're a small, tight-knit community raising a uniquely American high-quality protein. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Very good for the paleo crowd and yeah. uh, keto crowd. And, and I love that uniquely American side, right? Yeah. That, that piece to it is very unique and true, right? So Literally every bison that you'll see in the marketplace or at a restaurant or at a farmer's market has been born and raised in North America. That's ours. Yeah, that's you know? ours. That's, exactly. <laughs> take a lot of pride exactly. in that animal, right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, don't call, cool. don't call bison exotic. Yeah. Anything but, you know? <laughs> that's homegrown, baby. That's, right. that's, that's very right. cool, man. So is this y'all's first food competition or how often have you come out to these? This is our second time at the World Food Championships. Okay. We actually came for the first time last year, partnering with Fetty Lindley Bison here. And had such a good time out of the barbecue ranch, uh, slinging bison that we decided to come back this year as a nice. sponsor. Yeah. Category sponsor. So we're the sandwich category sponsor. All these folks are cooking with bison today. And Very cool, man. It looks like putting together some pretty amazing sandwiches. Bro, it smells there. so good over here right now. Like, I wasn't even hungry when I got here, but I just want to eat something right now, man. Yeah. We've got Very some cool. Samples out, so if you need to come try one. Hey, I need to go try some, bro. Like, dead serious, bro. But, man, so are you a judge as well? Yes, I am. So yeah. tell me what that is like and, and what. What what criteria are you looking for when it comes to the cooked bison? Yeah, so, you know, I, I think bison has such an amazing natural flavor that virtually I'm going to be looking for something that's not covering up the protein yeah. flavor so much because it's yeah. really got an amazing taste. Some people even can say it, you can taste from where it's from in the country, kind of yeah. like terroir. Yeah. And uh, so I don't want to see folks loading it with spices and... All sauces things, and, like and sauces to cover yeah. up that that good meat taste. Yeah, but I also want to see creativity as well. For sure, right? for sure. And uh, and and what's your criteria on the on the cooked bison? Very similar. Yeah. I, I want people to use the meat and accentuate what it has to offer. Mm -hmm. And I like to see some interesting techniques. There's some a uh, guy gonna make a pretzel bread, do an yeah. open face sandwich. Be interesting if they, if they can pull that off. Yeah. Uh, some of the people pressure cook in the short rib to get it soft and tender yeah. in 45 minutes. Wow. Uh, very excited about that. There's yeah. a schnitzel going over there. I've never had a ribeye schnitzel, so uh, for me, it's creativity and execution. <laughs> very cool, you man. You got an idea, can you pull it off? Yeah, can that's you make very it look cool. pretty on the plate? Well, Croy Valley is yeah, a manufacturer of barbecue sauces, marinades, okay. and fried sauces. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm the owner. My wife is also the owner. She's over there. That's Lou. Okay. And uh, we're, in, we're based on Wisconsin. Oh, nice. Wisconsin. Badger yeah. country, right? Yeah, very cool, it's man. The land of beer and cheese curds. Yeah, that is. that as well. Yeah. I don't know why I went to college and not Green Bay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so I'm utilizing all of my sauces and seasonings and my dish. Uh, this is Kelly. Kelly cooked earlier in the rice and noodle category with his, nice. with his wife Elizabeth. They're part of Team Croy Valley as well. Very cool. Um, this guy over here, that's Wade. Wade, Wade how you doing, Wade? On, uh, Friday. Cool. Steak category. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's well. that's the heavy hitter right there, boy. Coming yeah, with steaks yeah. now. So I we love got, it. We got lots of folks out there helping to support the brand and use our stuff and, and hopefully win with it. Very cool. Is this y'all's uh, first World Food Championship? No, nope, we've been with it since the second year. We've oh, been nice. here for nine years. Nice. And how yeah. have y'all fared in it so far, man? Uh, we've fared really well, which is what keeps us coming back. Yeah. We got to yeah. qualify to get there. So, Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, we've all done really well. And Finished top ten in, in multiple categories over the years. Nice, it's nice. A lot of fun. So do y'all actually have a restaurant, or is it more no, so about the food, seasoning? Food manufacturing. I mean, we we manufacture these products here along with about forty others, and we sell them in about uh, 3,500 3, stores uh, worldwide. Cool. We're in we're in uh, uh, America, Canada. Uh, uh, Europe, Australia, New nice. Zealand, Japan. Can we find your products here in Dallas? Uh, yeah, there's hey. retail stores here. You got to look for us not in grocery. You got to look okay. for us in places like barbecue supply uh, okay. places, hardware stores, anyone that's selling grills and grilling accessories. Oh, nice. You find our stuff. Very cool.
good, man. How you? Man, doing well, man. Hey, I know it's, I know it's getting close to, to, to the finishing time, so That's I don't want to bug you too much, bro. Where you at, though? Out of Columbia, South Carolina, bro. Oh, right on. Right yeah, on, Columbia, man. Columbia, South Carolina, Team Lake Murray, Orange yeah. Grill. Right on, right on. Right on. Sox, hey, yeah, y'all oh, did something special to that bison right there, bro? Yeah, we did a um, beef bulgogi marinade on that, and we did a Korean cheese steak with it. Oh, right on, so bro. We're going to put a little southern flair. We got a little, little southern pimento cheese on the bottom of it, a little crispy fried onion. Yeah. What's y'all think, man? Yeah, so, hey, so if I'm in South Carolina, where can we find you, bro? I'm in Irmo. Irmo, Columbia, potato, potato, same thing. Roy's Grill. Find it, bro. Irmo, Fine. South Carolina. Roy's Grill. Right on.